Okay guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 500 kg uniform beam is subjected to the three external loads shown. Compute the reactions at the support point O. The XY plane is vertical. So this beam is subjected to this 3 kN force which is making 30 degree angle with the vertical. This couple 15 kilonewton meter and 1.4 kilonewton force which is acting at this point A. So we need to find the reactions at point O. So here we will have the reaction in the x direction let us say this is OX and we will have the reaction in the y direction this is OY and since this beam is fixed here so we will have the reaction moment as well. So let us say that we have the moment in the counterclockwise direction, this is MO. So now to find OX and OY, uh, we have to resolve this 3 kN force into its components. So it will have one component in this direction, like this. This one will be the cos component, this one will be 3 cos of 30, this will be in kN. And here we will have the sine component, this one will be 3 sine of 30 degrees. So, 3, 3 cos of 30, this is 2.59, or we can say that this is approximately 2.6, this is 2.6 kilonewton, and this is 1.5 kilonewton. And the weight, let me write that the weight, the weight of the beam is, the mass is 500, so this is 500 times 9.81, so it gives us 4 point, uh, let me find, this is 500, 500 into 9.81, so this gives us uh, 4905, this is 49. 5 and this is in Newton. So, since all these uh, forces are given in kilonewtons, we need to convert this into kilonewtons in order to have the consistent units. So, we need to divide it by 1000. So, this will be 4.905 kilonewton. Uh, we can say that this is approximately 4.91 kilonewton. And the weight of the beam is going to act at the mid length, right? So it is going to act somewhere here and the total length of the beam is 1.8 plus 1.8, this is 3.6 plus 1.2, so the total length is 4.8 and this weight which is 4.91 kilonewton and this distance of this weight from that point O is, this will be the total length is 4.8, so this will be 4.8 divided by 2, so this will be 2.4 meters. So now to find the OX, since the beam is in equilibrium, we can apply the summation of forces along X, this will be equal to 0 and this is our positive X direction, that is towards the right, this is our positive direction. So this OX is acting in the positive X and this 1.5 Newton is acting in the negative X, this is minus 1.5 this is equal to 0, there is no other force or component in the x direction. So this OX is equal to 1.5 kilonewton or we can say that this OX is equal to 1500 newtons. Similarly, to find OY, we need to apply the summation of forces along Y equals to 0. In the upward direction, that is our positive Y direction. So now again OY is acting in the positive Y direction, this is OY, then 1.4 kN, this is acting in the positive Y plus 1.4, the weight is acting in the downward direction, that is minus 4.91 and this 2.6 kN, this is acting in the downward direction, so this is minus and this will be equal to 0. So from this we can write that, let me find 1.4 plus uh, minus 4.91 minus 2.6 
this gives us minus 6.1. So, let us say this is approximately 6.1 let us say. So, OI is let us say we are writing all these answer up to one significant figure. So, let us say this is minus 6.1 this 6.10 let us say. So, this OI equals to uh, 6.1 kilo Newton and if we convert it into Newton, so we have to multiply it by 1000 that would give us 6100 Newton. So, this is OY. Now, to find this uh, support moment MO, we have to apply the summation of moment about point O and that must be equal to 0 as well and the counterclockwise moment is assumed to be positive. So, we have this MO which is the counterclockwise moment. So, I will write plus MO then we have this the moment of this 1.4 Newton it is making the counterclockwise moment. So, we will write plus 1.4 and the perpendicular distance of this 1.4 Newton force from that point O is 1.2. So, I will multiply it with 1.2 and this uh, weight is producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 4.91 and the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point O is 2.4. So, we will multiply this with 2.4 and we have this 15 kilo Newton meter couple which is in the counterclockwise direction so it is positive. And then this 2.6 kilo Newton force is producing the clockwise moment. So, I will write minus 2.6 and the perpendicular distance or the moment arm of this component from that point O is the total length of the beam which is 4.8. So, I have to multiply it with 4.8 and this component this 1.5 Newton component is passing through that point O. So, its perpendicular distance from that point O is 0. So, it is not going to produce the moment about that point O. So, this will be equal to 0. So, now we can find that this is 1.4 into 1.2 minus 4.91 into 2.4 plus 15 minus 2.6 into 4.8. So, this gives us minus 7.584. This is MO minus 7.584. This is equal to 0 and this will be equal to 7.584. This will be kilo Newton meters since this is the moment. So, this is the uh, for x reaction at O it is in the horizontal direction this is the reaction in the vertical direction and this is the moment in the counterclockwise direction this is counterclockwise direction and if we multiply it by 1000 so we will have 75.84 Newton meter torque in the moment in the counterclockwise direction. So, this is the solution of this particular problem I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't done it yet.